As payment for the use of the meadows, the inhabitants of Komodo leave the dead bodies of their cattle for the great predator. The more deaths there are, the less likely it is the reptiles will collect the debt by attacking the live cattle. On this occasion, it is a goat that has died. The wind carries the smell and the dragon comes to collect its dew. He must begin to eat immediately. If he has found the corpse, the other dragons will not be far behind. The first thing it will eat will be the entrails, which are the softest and easiest parts to eat. Before he has had a chance to begin, a second and even bigger lizard appears on the scene. In very little time, the wind has carried the message to all the dragons in the area. As if they had been summoned to a meeting, they all come together here in the clearing to take part in the banquet. By the time the third guest arrives, the entrails have been devoured. This is the prize for the first ones to discover the feast. The body is ripped apart and peacefully shared out. Surprisingly, they do not fight. Each one finds a space and concentrates on the meal in front of them. In just a few minutes, the goat has almost entirely disappeared. The lizards will swallow the bones, the skin, and even the hooves. The only thing left lying on the ground are the horns, a pool of blood, and claw marks, the only sign that the lizards have accepted the payment of the natives. Amid the frenzy, a new character appears in the clearing. The pigs were also introduced into the island by man, and are also a feast much appreciated by the dragons, though that does not appear to worry our visitor. Despite the proximity, no one attacks him. The pig is faster than the lizards, and as long as it knows where they are, it'll be safe. The predators know this, and will not waste energy trying to hunt it down when they know it's pointless. All the islands on which humans have settled have been invaded by the animals they brought with them. The different ecosystems have absorbed pigs, dogs or goats which escaped from their human masters and were able to adapt to life in the wild. They are the most recent newcomers and the latest victims of the Komodo dragon. Man has lived alongside the giant lizards since time immemorial. Over generations, children and adults who strayed from the settlements have disappeared in the jungle, leaving no trace. After the initial anguish, people became resigned to this. It is the tribute they must pay to the dragons for allowing them to live on their island.